Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy to Row. I am Divine Energy. Okay, let's get into it, you guys. I got a channel message. Okay, so you got soulmate card out here, new love and honeymoon, right? Soulmate, new love and honeymoon, right? That's what you're going towards, right? I feel like somebody wants that. That's what you're attracting, just period. The lovers, you're attracting that, just period. You can even be in this situation right now and hiding it. They're saying you're not going to be happy if you continue to hide it. Um, you've been wearing your patience down, okay? I pulled these cards, and of course, the computer froze on me because I needed to really uh, dig into this message. So, like I was saying, you're in a situation where, like, you might feel limited or restricted or stuck in a situation, in a relationship. You don't want to fight anymore, but you're running out of your patience. You're running out of you know, what are you going to do? At some point, you know, um, you would really rather just pick up and just leave is what I'm getting here. Yeah, it's in the swords. Fell out. Um, you know, you would just really rather just get up and leave on some real shit. That's just what you would really rather do in this present situation. It's like it's causing so much um, discomfort in your home, right? It's causing so much disharmony that um, you're ready to just let, let it go, this relationship. Some of you guys, on the other side of the board, there's a reconciliation you might be wanting to reconcile when it comes to this lovers, okay? That was the very first card out, okay? Um, it looks to me like this masculine energy here, Ace of Wands, I'm getting it's masculine energy is... Um, ready to make a decision um here okay boss you can't reach this table so i don't know what you're doing you should go back to the tree house and get down okay bossy you knows she can't reach the table i'll totally move the table like what is she doing <laughs> okay all right Somebody, like I said, when it comes to this moon, you got the moon out here, the lovers in reverse, and the four of wands. It's like, this could be like sneaking and creeping, right? If you are sneaking and creeping, it's not going to make anything better. That's what I was trying to hurry up and say in the beginning. It's not going to make nothing better. If you are, there's some things that you just need to talk about and just get it out the way. You know, kind of deal with a situation instead of trying to run from whatever consequence or situation how you think it's going to be. Just deal with it face Face it head on is what they're saying here. Don't cause more problems for yourself Don't by staying in this situation. You see what I'm saying? So, let's see. That's what I'm getting for the present situation. You know what I'm saying? Move forward or reconcile. You know, but don't stay somewhere where you don't want to be. Right? Keep that in mind. Because that's what's causing all of the problems. You staying where you don't where you don't want to be okay and your present energy also i want to talk about in the present energy of the reconciliation those of us that's getting this message right and you're reconciling what are the messages here in the present energy for those reconciling three of swords it's like in reverse somebody doesn't want to fight no more five of swords somebody else in a situation can feel like they're hanging on five of swords right three of swords in reverse like somebody let it go whatever problems that this couple feels that want to reconcile they feel like they one party feels like i want to reconcile and let let go of our differences and move on right and be together you know, forgive and forget, right? But the other party might feel like, you know, not letting go, like don't want to let go of some of these issues that th there were because maybe they feel like, oh, we didn't work through them or something, right? Could be that energy as well. When it comes to this reconciliation, yeah, King of Pentacles, because it's like maybe there's, you know, you feel stable and secure as long as, the love is there, right? 
for some of you guys that are reconciling. Yeah, the Hierophant. You could also be married. You know, just have a lot of ties to this person, right? To where you're not just going to just walk away just like that, right? Or maybe even like divorce goes against like your tradition or your belief system, right? Two of Pentacles. It's like in this situation, maybe you you were taught like from a child, Six of Cups in reverse, Two of Pentacles to be a certain way, right? How to balance your life. But maybe it's like you teaching yourself how to do something your own way, especially when it comes to this relationship that you're in. It's like maybe you're not doing it the traditional way. Maybe you're doing it a different way. Tell me about the person who's in this three of swords for those that are reconciling. Yeah, this person want to move on from their issues. Five of swords, eight of swords. Yeah, whoever holding on to this situation, eight of swords, is uh, basically sabotaging this relationship. So somebody does need to let go so that... There could be some sort of forgiveness and healing within this dynamic of this relationship. If there wish, if the two parties wish to reconcile and it be healthy, right? Okay, so let's also talk about future energy here when it comes to uh, the soulmate connection, a honeymoon. Okay, enjoying the bliss of the holiday time together, a new person stirring your romantic feelings. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, let's talk about that message here. Okay, we got all the judgment, the ten of swords, and the ten of cups. Yeah, so you got the ten of swords and ten of cups out here, but it's like something's not over. It's because you're not listening. It's like you have there's something you have to answer here. This, you know, you gotta answer this. You gotta face this. Here, I keep saying that head on, right? This could also be like facing this head on. You know, Ten of Swords talks about um, things upstairs being like over or 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 mental. Let's say um, anguish, right? Being over, right? That ten of swords, right? So this could be like you being trapped, right? In a situation where you're in a relationship and you're somewhere where you don't want to be, right? Staying there mentally, it just confines you. It just blocks you from your inner peace, your happiness, your ten of cups. So it's like you kind of coming from that space and realizing, you know, even though it might go against your normal traditions, your normal values, how you grew up, things like that, right? This is what's best for you at this time, right? Because this is your life and you have to live it, right? <clears throat> at the end of the day, when you're an old woman, an old man, nobody's going to be like, hey, um, I hope you're happy with your life. You know, everybody's going to be living their life. And so hopefully you make the, the important decisions to live in your truth and live what is you know, your happiness, your version of that each and every day, you know, um, real shit. Okay. And I know sometimes we get married, we have kids and things like that, but sometimes that's not enough to keep two people together, you know, and at some point you have to kind of decide that for yourself, right? If that's enough to keep the relationship, to sustain a relationship, or if it's time to, you know, move on and start making new investments, Eight of Pentacles, okay, and seeing those new investments start to pay off, right? Because when you talk about a soulmate, you know, this isn't just a new person. This is, yes, this is your soulmate. That's what they're saying here in this message, you know. So this is a little bit different than just it being, you know, just a new love, you know. It is a new love, but this is also a soulmate connection, right? So, in your future energy, when it comes to the soulmate connection, let's talk about it. The future energy. Eight of Cups. The Tower. Yeah, so there's going to be some moving on. And maybe even in the future, you know, when it comes to your soulmate, you know, feeling like, you know, have you done all that you could do in that past relationship that you moved on from? I'm seeing, 
you know, but I'm seeing you very happy. Four wands, not in reverse this time. Three of cups and the judgment. So I'm seeing you very happy, celebrating, enjoying your life, your new soulmate, this connection, your new home. Some of you guys buying a home or at least like sharing living space together. Okay. Um, I see that here, you know, um, also that might just be, you know, yeah, I'm getting like a house or something like that with that four of wands. Yeah, four of swords to the empress. Y'all yeah, could be trying for a child or something like that. Or maybe like this feminine could feel like your soulmate connection could feel like, you know, she, she's worried that she can't have a kid. Tell me about the empress. The emperor, the lovers, and the justice. If she is worried about having a child, like I'm getting like an empress, I'm getting someone who's a little older and maybe worried about being able to be like childbearing age or something. Like, can she still have kids? You know, wondering if that's a possibility. And I'm seeing that in the future, if you want that, you can actually have that. You have the emperor, the empress, justice, and the lovers out here. Okay. Yeah, so this is something that, you know, you could definitely have the option to do for this feminine energy here as well, you know, and even if it wasn't a child, it might just be something very significant that'll um, help bring you two together, so I see that definitely coming together as well an opportunity to create something for the soulmate connection here okay but let's talk more about um the reconciliation and the future of the reconciliation for those that will be re reconciling with someone those in reconciliation Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's something not being said, those in reconciliation. And until you say it, it's almost like you can't be happy with this person. Right? I see that in the future. Yeah. The moon, three. <laughs> Just like I said, literally, like, until, you know, the truth comes out or somebody expresses themselves to a point where... You know, the both of us are listening and the both of us are having this breakthrough where we can meet each other needs type of thing, right? Y'all ain't going to be happy, just period. Even if y'all do reconcile, get back together, you know, because sometimes when things are not said, you run the risk of injury in a relationship, right? So... 13, 13 when I said that, like, so somebody is, it's like a, a, a blockage in communication for those that need to reconcile. And until that blockage is healed or repaired, you know, um, it's going to be so difficult, you know, to, to stay with somebody that you're trying to reconcile something with when you truly are connecting and attracting, um, a soulmate connection here in a new love offer right? Okay? So that's what I want you to keep in mind for those of us getting this message, all right? And I'm just going to grab some last minute messages to see if there's anything left on the board. I don't want to leave any crumbs, okay? Let's get the rest of this going here. What else is going on? Privileged lady in reverse. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Hold on. Boss person, privileged lady. Okay. Somebody could, I feel like this masculine could feel like they're not with the right person. They're with a false person. Somebody who's just taking, you know, all of what this, this masculine has given them and done nothing with it and they feel like this soulmate connection you know is more deserving also of the lifestyle that this masculine can provide you know on some real shit because it's like you know 
And no matter how what you do to get your money, it's like it's a level of respect that should be there, right? And maybe this feminine energy that wants the reconciliation with this masculine, right? Doesn't see the value in this man more so than just what this man can provide. And so maybe that's really the true problem. Okay, it's what I'm getting, right? Between this couple, you know, you can't disrespect people just because, you know, a man is expected to provide, you know? We have to, you know, um, respect men, women, all the same, you know? You can't go around disrespecting people just because, you know, after you've known them for so long, like, oh, I'm just going to treat you any type of way, like. And this person, this this masculine could also feel like, yo, like, they job, right? Official person. Like, so they job, they, they could have, like, a, be like an official person. This masculine really feel like, you know, really demasculated when they come home. Like, you know, like, somebody just doesn't treat them. The way that they would, you know, want to be treated. Just period. Yeah. Marriage. Yup. And two, it's like... This person could only want to reconcile. Because it's like, maybe they don't want to lose... They privileged. They don't want to lose all of the money that they was getting in this connection. And maybe they don't want to keep the person. They don't really love this person. Because if they did, they would treat them right, right? But they just want to keep this person around because they know that, that person is going to take care of them. They're going to look after them and keep them out of poverty. So this person's is feminine energy here. You know, not your soulmate, but the one that you're trying to reconcile with. We definitely trying to keep you um, just... For stability, security. It's no love, just security, right? Um, okay. And I'm not saying that a man shouldn't be a woman's security. I'm just saying that there's a level of respect that's missing in this dynamic, what I'm getting in this reading, right? And because of that, that is why this masculine feels some type of way. You know what I'm saying? And rightfully so. I mean, come on. Like, it's not because you do for somebody. It's like you want people to treat you right because that's what's in their heart. People treat you the way and the degree and what, what they feel within themselves. You know what I'm saying? So if they treat you bad in a relationship, it's because they feel, you know, this feminine. Look, main female feels bad in the relationship. You feel what I'm saying? So she's treating the masculine bad because she feels bad about herself, right? It has nothing to do with the masculine and how much he makes and how much he provides. Because I'm getting, like, she's a privileged lady. She actually lives a pretty good life. You know what I'm saying? And so to be treating somebody like that, it's like, you know, something got to give. That's why this reconciliation is here. Is this, this masculine's thinking, like, look, man, I got a soulmate, a new love, a honeymoon. Like, come on. Like, I could be with this person before the holidays is over. Like, before the holidays get here, like... If I could stop playing and, and playing myself with this person and wasting my time, even though we might be married, you know, life is still going to go on, you know? Okay, yeah. Yeah, this person feels like, this masculine feels like they can't trust this this feminine energy, like, they feel like when, when their back is turned, like, they never know what this person could be up to. Yeah, message of concern. Concern. It's like, yo, this person, yeah, this person can have, like, the key, this feminine energy can have, like, the key to their money and all that, like, type of ties. Remember I said this person can have ties with somebody, so it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, things are really changing, so... You know, it's something for the masculine here to think about, you know. Um, I feel like your partner can even know that, you know, you have this soulmate connection or whatever coming in or you're attracting that. And, you know, they could be like, I ain't trying to say they stealing from you, but they could be like, you know, somebody that you want to keep your eye on because now they know. 
your secret. You see what I'm saying? There might be somebody that you want to keep your eye on, all right? I'm going to say that. <laughs> all right. Um, let's get one more. I'm going to close this out. Great fortune. I can't make this shit up. You're somebody who has a lot. And so this, this feminine doesn't want to leave you because of that. She's concerned. So if she is doing anything behind your back, sneakily, okay, just, hey, this is your message to be concerned, okay, to protect your great fortune, okay, that's your worth, okay, for, for my masculine out here. <clears throat> and, and if you are the feminine in this situation, because you could, I could be saying I'm talking to a masculine and be talking to a feminine. Okay, but take it how it resonates, because if that story doesn't, you know what I'm saying, if it doesn't, shit doesn't add the fuck up, don't start putting one in one and making four, all right, don't do that, take the read, all right, take what resonates, <laughs> leave the rest for who it applies to, all right, <laughs> I love y'all, peace.